Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. If you've missed episodes 1 to 11, I'll leave the playlist on the top right corner of the screen and in the description. Make sure you check it out if you've missed the previous episodes. Also, in this episode, we will be risking our account because we will be training in the catacombs of Kurend. I do want to get my magic level to at least 94 and the best way to do it is to burst dust devils and necreals. And obviously, in the process, we're also going to be training slayers. So it should be a very exciting episode. Stay tuned and enjoy. Today we're starting it off with 75 crafting, which is a level that I've been waiting for a while to get because that means that we can now make Slayer Rings, which is gonna be awesome. Pretty excited for the future, that's a very nice level to get out of the way. 170k, I shouldn't pick some of these herbs up, but nice amount of runes and whatnot. But once again, I'm super scared of doing this task, it's, uh, it's very sketchy. Here we go, 88 magic doing this insanely risky task, but one thing I can't stress enough is how nice it is to have a looting bag on that manual, because imagine doing this task and not even having looting bag, I would have to pick all of this awesome loot and then I would have like no food to tank, like right now I have phoenix necklace, I have... I'm a little bit confident that I can tank maybe like if the Picare of 2 came or maybe Picare of 3 if I'm like really lucky to tank them. Uh, but nonetheless, man, this task is insanely nice, but so damn sketchy. You guys have no idea. Trip number two, and it feels like this task will be completed in uh, three trips. Uh, at least so it feels right now. So that's another 200k. And 87 range coming through just from tagging the dust devils. I actually didn't die. Holy fuck, I'm so surprised. We've been getting about 700k XP an hour whilst doing that task. So very, very exciting, the fact that I didn't die. And uh, we're now 88 magic, which is pretty damn cool. And uh, let's see what the next task will uh, bring us. Interested, what is next? Because, ooh, aberrant specters. They are not too bad, actually. There it is, 89 Slayer already. Two more levels to go to that big 91 that I can then use um, to kill Cerberus. So pretty damn nice, but that will take a while to get from uh, 89 to 90. Fire Giants, and there it is, a big level 90 attack already coming through. Defense very close, strength level very close. Almost done with the task as well. That is very, very nice. Still level 113, I think I can get two more levels for 114, but a very nice level. Fire Giants got a nice little 100k, a little, yeah, 100k from that task, and now we get some Blood Velds, a very decent task. Oh, we just got 87 defense as well, which is a very, very nice. There we go, Dwarf Cannon finally done, and that means we can now uh, buy Multi Cannon, I mean Dwarf Cannon, and make Cannonballs. Now, luckily, from all of the tasks, we do have a lot of herbs that I can sell for profit, and I also have a bunch of stuff in my bank still that I can easily just go ahead and sell. I have a bunch of like small things like mystic staffs and basically if I just clean my bank up a little bit, we should have enough for a cannon and we should be able to consistently afford cannonballs while we do Slayer as well. So let's go ahead and uh, actually get ourselves a uh, dwarf multi-cannon. Let's get ourselves a first cannon of the account, which would be amazing. And there it is. We have it, which is awesome. So there's like, do I even need this instruction stuff? I don't think I do, but just in case, let's go ahead and read it, close it. Um, and there we have it. I guess we are now finally prepared to start training a little bit more efficiently. Also not doing this one. Um, what's next? Hellhounds, that's a very, very solid task. Nice, let's do it. Hellhounds, again, I just finished them, so we need to get more cannonballs. Let's go ahead and sell some stuff from the bank. And that's what I mean, how easy it is to make money on World 45. You just get herbs and uh, yeah, I have a bunch of other things that I'll just sell for a bit of cannonballs. And here we go, 94 strength coming through, which is pretty damn awesome already. I'm getting about 130k XP in attack, strength, defense and HP per hour. About 170k range XP per hour, uh, you know, using cannon. So it's honestly not bad. And I'm also getting about 170k uh, Slayer XP per hour. Uh, so it's not too bad, honestly. Uh, we're looking at about an hour left till 90 Slayer. Another Hellhound task completed. Some Ankus, sure, let's do it. 
And there we go, 94 HP coming through as well. I decided not to cannon this task because of the expensive cannonballs and this task doesn't necessarily take very long anyways. And it's a little bit further away from like safety, so I kind of like to do this one more relaxed way the way I'm doing it right now. Black demons? Yeah, sure, why not? Dust devils? Oh shit. I guess we're going uh, bursting boys on stream. Uh, we're probably gonna die. All right, the first out of three prayers is about to be unlocked. Uh, preserve, here it is. A pretty cheap one, actually. And uh, this is what we're gonna be risking. If we die, so a bunch of sharks, insult heads that I don't mind of, some runes that whatever I could bother selling and whatnot, some prayer pods. This is how I will go. I have two phoenix necklaces. If I get hit, maybe I get lucky and I can tank. And uh, I guess I'm taking like a little bit of those. And that's how we're gonna go. If I die, this is obviously once again highly possible that I will die because I am streaming right now so let's see how this goes why are we not getting like all of those oh there it is 90 slayer boys doing this risky shit first trip worked out for a grand total of just about 200k not bad trip number two still alive 200k a little bit more and the tier 5 emblem very nice I was when I got the task I was 100% sure I'm dying 100% that's crazy actually how did we not die during this task, what? I, oh my god, I, I called it. No, we're going back. Oh no, I guess we're gonna burst Necreals next. Holy fuck, well, we're not safe yet. Ah. <coughs> yeah, I think I'll need way more death runes. But luckily I'm getting a lot of rune drops, so. Hey, there it was, 89 magic already. These tasks are absolutely insane for magic experience. They're so good. First trip coming in clutch, 170k, but it's honestly a bit more, I think. Eh, maybe not. But nonetheless, we have probably like half the task left. 200 more k to the profit, and we also are very close to 90 magic. HP getting really fast up there, Slayer getting fast up there with tasks like these. So, one more trip and we're done with this task. How do you just run to multi in like max gear? There it is, man. Was that? That was 90 magic, ladies and gentlemen. All from this one task, I got basically two levels, which is kind of insane. Oh no, I think I'm dying here. I'm too scared. Yeah. He's called up, so I'm going. I TP'd because that guy was called. Holy fuck, that was scary. <laughs> Holy fuck, what was that? I swear I have one left on the task as well. Oh! <laughs> I swear I have. I swear I have one left. <gasps> you are kidding me! One left, bro. <laughs> you are t you are trolling. Yeah, that that agility shortcut apparently nullifies damage. So if I get a tank there, I can just keep going through the shortcut, and apparently I'm not gonna take damage. I just saw like I don't see a hit splat on me. There we go. The task is done. But insanely positive thing about it is the fact that we got a lot of magic experience out of that, a lot of HP XP and a lot of Slayer XP from that task, so I really cannot complain. Throwing out points right now, but... No, not again. I cannot do this right now. People are ready to attack me. Oh, this is the worst day of my life. The first trip is done, we got another tier 5, and an extra 380k. Very nice. Oh, I just missed 95 HP. Doing the risky neck reels on stream again. Holy shit, it's actually kind of sketchy, but 95... Dude, when you burst or barrage tasks, HP goes up so fast. It's honestly insane. And we're almost 91 magic as well, so that's kind of cool. Hey, what's up, Bronze? How are you doing, man? Oh, I'm getting attacked. Okay. But that's how easy it is to escape. That guy just uh, went for me. Kuzman. Wait, I know that guy. This is never accurate. Um, oh, there it is. 91 magic accomplished. Plus 1.2k total. Both in that one little situation there. So very happy with that, actually. Three more levels to go and we can cast Barrage, which will be insane for the account. So really excited for that. All right, I somehow didn't manage to die during this task. We got ourselves another 350k pretty much with a mysterious emblem. Very, very nice. Also, almost 92 magic. 
and very close to 91 Slayer, so looking really, really good. Let me figure out what are we doing next. Gargoyles? Sure, let's do it. Task is done. Two Runefall Helms, this Addy Langs on top of 750k and one, two, three Gmals, actually. So that was a 900k task easily, even more. 950k task, holy shit. That's why I love Gargoyles, one of my favorite tasks at the moment. And all of a sudden I have four Gmals, so gonna be selling that, those over time I guess. Let's see what the next task is for us and we also are extremely close to defense. I will probably miss it because I'll forget to record it but uh, almost 88, just one hit away literally. You know what, let's just fix it right here. Let's just go ahead and attack something. What can we attack? Like this, this, this guy. Terror bird. I hit a one. I hit a zero. I hit a ten. And there it is, man. 88 defense. Perfect. All right, let's see what the next task is. Uh, new task, fire giants. That's quite okay. There we go. 88 range from just cannoning a full level from 87 to 88. Very, very, very nice. 100k from this fire giant task and an extra scimitar. Let's see what the next one is. Uh, gargles, I will definitely do those. And there we have it, 91 attack also accomplished, levels are definitely starting to come in a little bit slower right now, however, as always, I do love this task, it brings you so much money to the account, it basically found all of my cannonballs that I need for different tasks, and uh, those are the stats right now, we are so close to 91 Slayer, which is the goal of these uh, progression-based videos, because after that I have some insane plans for the account, so let's just finish this 91 Slay it off and then I can, uh, I don't know where I'm going with this. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the level that we set ourselves to achieve at the very start of the account. 91 Slayer has been accomplished. And in the process of doing that, we also got to 95 HP, 91 attack, 94 strength, 88 defense, 88 range. 91 magic and 77 prayer and all of this was achieved from scratch without muling and in the whole process we only died once and that was at the very very start when we did hellhounds in multi in ref caves now this will conclude actually the first ever uh, season we're gonna be splitting this account into seasons so this would be season one of the world 45 deadman mode from scratch now this season was all about progressing the account getting the stats needed to then on be able to do some fun stuff in season two and in season two we're gonna be taking completely different approach to the account if the season one was all about training up our stats the season two is going to be all about obtaining items we're talking end game pvm raids tob god wars all of that in the future episodes and i'm super excited to bring them to you and I really do hope you guys will be as excited as I am to watch them. Um, I really do hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you did, a simple like does go a long way. And with that being said, I'll see you very soon with Season 2 Deadman Mode.